Hi guys, welcome to part two of the Precision Laser and Instrument YouTube series. Uh, my name is Anthony Pascuzzi. I handle all their geospatial technical support and training as well as uh, scanning solutions. Um, today we're actually uh, messing around a little bit inside of the RealWorks software and the main thing we're going to be focusing on is merging two RealWorks projects together into one. You may be wondering why would you need to do something like this. Um, in this particular case, we were running two scanners, so I had a TX-8 and a X-7 uh, running at the exact same time to try to get this project done in a, in a timely manner, um, but the customer essentially wants one large point cloud versus having two or three um, smaller ones. So essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to take the two, uh, two data sets from the two scanners and merge those together into one. Now this data set here has obviously been uh, cut down in order to uh, speed up processing time. Alright, so up here in the corner we can see here we have workspace and it shows that we only have one project open. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bring in our second project that we want to merge together. So to do that we're just going to go to import, go to open, and we're going to open up our second project. Just click on it and we'll click the open button. Now when I do that you'll see up here the workspace now shows that there's two projects. Now if we look at our point cloud we're not seeing the first project, it's not being listed there. Uh, easy way around that is we're just going to right click on the original project and we're going to say display cloud. Now when I hit display cloud you can see that the second point cloud is way over here and this, this point cloud is, uh, is obviously not in the, the right orientation. So in order to merge these two together, in order to register these two together, um, we're going to have to go to click on our workspace and we can see our two projects here listed. So we're going to click on one, hold down the control key, click on the other. You may, yep, you can also window these two. Um, and we're going to go under the edit and we're going to go to merge projects. Now, when I merge these two projects together, you'll see up here where it's going to show that our workspace is going to change from two projects down to one. And these are our, all of our clouds now. They've all been brought together into one project. Now, they still need to be registered. Now, in uh, another video here in the future, I plan on going over the different registration uh, methods within the RealWorks software. But just to give you a little bit of a, a crash course in this, uh, we are actually going to do a cloud-based registration. And a cloud-based registration allows you to register two clouds together. Now, there's a group down here for the, for the TX-8 data set. There is no group here for the X-7 data set. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to take these data sets and put them into that folder. The reason why I want to do that is because I want to take this entire group and register it to this entire group. If I had left those three things out, then it would have been this group versus each one of those individual scans. So I would have had to have done this three times versus now I only have to do it once considering the X7 data has already been registered. Now in order to register these two groups together, I need to click on my project up here in the workspace and I'm going to go to cloud-based registration. Now you'll notice in our cloud-based registration we have, it says here to select two clouds, our reference cloud and our moving cloud. Now our reference cloud is the cloud that I want to, the moving cloud to move to fit. Now if one of these point clouds, let's say, was geo-referenced and the, and the other data set was not, then you would want to make sure that your geo-reference point cloud was the reference cloud and the other one was the moving cloud. Otherwise, you'll basically blow out your geo-referencing and, and by bringing it over to a un-geo-reference point cloud. Now, to bring these two together and into cloud to cloud, all you have to do is choose common points. Now, you do not have to get real technical about this or really fine detail about this. You just need to make sure that you're choosing somewhere close to the same position. It doesn't have, does not have to be exact. So try to find something that has some features on it. So this particular data set, there is this wall right here that has all these little steps on it. And I'm going to click on the bottom step on each one of these walls. And you'll see down here it says registration complete. Now if I come down here and take a look, I can see that that makes sense and that tends to fit. Now where you want to look to verify that your registration worked properly is anywhere where the green meets, meets the red and you actually have some density of both. And if you put your mouse over top of a particular area and you hit the N key on your keyboard, 
it'll bring up a magnified view. So I look down the look down the floor. The floor looks pretty flat. And I'm also going to come to a hard edge of some sort where the two may have met. So maybe like this corner right here on this wall. And that looks really good as well. So when I'm happy with my uh, registration quality, I can hit apply. And now that's been applied, I can hit close. Now my two projects have been registered to one another. And if I go under my production now, I now have one project cloud that I can then export out into any file format to send over to the customer. So I hope, hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And please make sure to hit the like button, as well as subscribe, and there's also a bell notification to let you know whenever a new video has been uploaded. Thanks for watching, and have a good week.